Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I want to show you my attempt in processing or at least preparing the 1099s in QuickBooks Online. I'm going to preface this by letting you know that I use Track 1099. I do not actually use QuickBooks for my 1099s. I know some of you do. I know that they moved and shifted things around. So I'm, I'm going to try to get you closer to wherever you might be stuck. If you're watching this video, you're probably stuck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the gray bar on the left hand side of my screen. I'm going to hover over expenses and then go down to vendors. I'm going to think about the vendors that I need a 1099 for, and I'm going to make sure that this tracking box is checked. So Aquaflow, Bright Light Marketing, uh, I've got my janitorial service, Sparkling Clean Janitorial. I'm going to use this as my example. Uh, if you're looking for a vendor, if you know the vendor needs a 1099 and the box isn't checked, just click on the vendor's name. It's going to show you a list of transactions. Click on edit in the upper right hand corner. Scroll down and make sure this box right here is checked. I'm going to go ahead and click save. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to click on the blue hyperlink in the upper left hand corner that says vendors. What I want to do is get back to my vendor list. When I'm at my vendor list, I can click on prepare 1099s gives me some information about preparing them, gives me a chance to verify my company information. I'm going to say confirm info and start filing. Nothing gets filed without your permission. So I'm going to click on the green box. I'm then going to select accounts. In the upper right hand corner, I have to tell QuickBooks when it looks at my chart of accounts, which accounts should it be looking at to identify situations for a 1099. QuickBooks is not smart enough to figure this out on its own. QuickBooks is not going to look at your chart of accounts. It's not going to look at the account detail. It's just going to ask you, the human, to select which accounts and then indicate what kind of 1099 should you be sending. If you're not sure about that, I really, really strongly recommend you go to irs.gov and then search 1099. Look at the instructions for the miscellaneous and the NEC. Please do not rely on Facebook to be the source of truth. I know the IRS website is frustrating and it's difficult and sometimes just a pain in the butt, but you're going to be better off if you can try to find your information there first and then you can crowdsource. Uh, if you feel like you're not really certain, it could be interpreted a couple of ways. Maybe somebody else has guidance for you. Okay. Off my soapbox, back onto this. When you select the drop down for a 1099 box, you'll be able to pick which box should it go into. So I, this is a sample file. I'm not running through every possible situation. I have a couple examples. I have rent, I have janitorial, and I have professional fees. I'm going to go ahead and select next in the lower right hand corner. I have different tabs that I can look at. So I'm just going to review those with you. The first is tracked for 1099 and then reportable payments or not reportable payments. So reportable payments, I have sparkling clean janitorial. If this information about my vendor is incorrect, I can click on the pencil on the right and I can update the vendor information. If I'm curious about the reportable total, I can click on that blue hyperlink. This is going to show a list of all the payments. You'll notice that my total payments is 12,957, but if I go back to here, it says my reportable total is 11,220. If I look at the list, you'll see some of these payments are made with my make-believe credit cards. Payments made with a credit card are reportable on the 1099K. If you're not familiar with the 1099K, I find that the easiest place to look, irs.gov, but Google or look in there for 1099K FAQ. The FAQ is way easier for me to understand than the long explanation and instructions. 
So QuickBooks is smart enough that it should be pulling out anything that was paid with a Visa, a MasterCard, anything set up as a credit card within your QuickBooks. So we will assume that that's all correct. If this was your QuickBooks, I would just get the calculator, run through it, make sure it's right. Assuming that this is the only provider that needs a 1099, you'll click next. If you want to look at anything that's not tracked for a 1099, you can click on the second tab. This doesn't even look like a tab, but it is. There's tracked, there's not tracked. You can look through this list. If there's anything on here that you say, oh, this needs to be tracked, you can click on add to track list. So I'm just going to click on a couple of things. Now, if I go back to tracked, I've got this reportable payments and non-reportable. And it says, I don't have any vendors that meet the criteria. It's probably because the things that I selected, those vendors got money, but they didn't get money in the accounts. Remember in the earlier part where we selected the accounts and we said, oh, these are the only accounts we want QuickBooks to look at. It's still, I know it's software and it doesn't really think, but it's still thinking about these accounts. So if you missed an account, just come in here, select the additional accounts you need, click next, review your stuff here, click next. You can preview your forms here. So I'm going to go ahead and select preview so you can see what it looks like. So it's copy, don't file. Um, this information will show up in section one where it says non-employee compensation. I guess it just doesn't in the preview and that's fine. We can see what the total is here. I don't have any miscellaneous. I can click on next. This is my option for filing. I'm not going to e-file, not going to upgrade, not going to send anything. This is all my make believe QuickBooks. My goal for this video is just to help you troubleshoot anything that you might be stuck on. If you're truly stuck on the 1099s and don't mind somebody fumbling through it with you, you're more than welcome to set an appointment with me. This is not something I do on a regular basis. So this video is just to get you slightly closer to the goal point. I haven't filed mine yet. I know I need to. Like I said in the beginning, I'm just going to use track 1099. I only have one or two I need to file. I just manually type in the information. I don't do fancy exports and imports. Pretty small operation over here. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'll do my best to help you. If you have any ideas for other videos, even if it's not a thing I'm an expert in, I'm happy to get you slightly closer to your goal. Thank you so much and have a great day.